Okay folks, today we're gonna make a special video. I kind of like uh, my previous video uh, with my <laughs> kids playing around with me during Halloween night. So here you, I wanted to make this video because this knife scares my daughter. It scares the hell out of her. Okay, so that's the Benchmade uh, Betlam Auto, Axis Auto. And my daughter who is drowning here. Hi, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Are you scared from this knife? Are you scared from this knife? Okay. Try to no no. Try to open it, but be careful, huh? Be careful. Two hands. Whoa! <laughs> oh, my <gosh. laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, she's scared from this knife, and she has to be because this is her knife. Okay, this is not scary. What is this knife? My favorite. Which? How do you call that? Bluto. The Bluto? Okay. Flip the Bluto. Oh. No? <laughs> Too much drowning. Ah. No. Okay. You got it? <laughs> Still not? Come on, flip it. Yeah, you got Bluto. it. That's the Bluto. Yeah, that's for my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. And this is, let me see how do you operate with the. Oh yeah, perfect, you got it. It's better than the opening. Okay. Sog. Yeah, we already... Yeah, it's a sog. We already have a movie uh, about the Bluto. Uh, and uh, enough with my daughter now. She's gonna continue her drawing. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, now moving on with this knife. Um, that's the bench made, uh, as I said, uh, Bedlam uh, Axis Auto. It is uh, a, a stunning knife. Everything is in this knife. Uh, I kind of like uh, it's used. Yeah, I would say uh, only tactical knife. Uh, this knife might help you in a combat situation. Uh, again, uh, as you can see, I'm a father. I've got two kids, and I really wish I didn't have to 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 be in those kind of situations. Uh, and mostly, um, mainly, my knives. Uh, I buy them to collect them, uh, and some uh, I beat the shit out of them, but uh, this one uh, I want. I didn't, and I want, uh, hopefully. Uh, okay, so this is just a beautiful knife, a pr kind of Persian style. Uh, handle here is G10, and a, a kind of structure G10 of the best effect, just the best effect. Uh, yeah, as always, uh, kind of feature that I hate those holes for um, you know, tip up, tip down. Oh, actually, it's not, it's only um, right is or left is, and it's only a tip up carry uh, knife. So, yeah, yeah, actually, there were not room here probably to make uh, other holes, otherwise, they would have done it. So, uh, yeah, this I could live without it. Uh, so, like I said, a uh, really nice handle and structure G10. It's a very uh, big knife. Look at my hands. Uh, I've got a, a secure grip with four fingers and uh, still a lot of real, est real estate there. Uh, yeah. You know, so as you see, uh, the the kind of the, the, the shape of the blade is a kind of Persian. 154 cm, which has to be uh, yeah amongst my favorite uh, blade steel. Really nice shape. Absolutely great. A tip. It's a needle point tip, yeah. Ooh, yeah, I heard it might myself doing that. Um, and it cuts, yeah, fairly, I would say, fairly. So the axis here, as you probably know, uh, works as uh, both uh, the, the, the opening mechanism for the auto and also the locking uh, mechanism. So that's the same as the axis lock, actually. Uh, but if you want to use it with one hand, it's kind of difficult, you know, because you have... The, the spring or uh, the, the, the auto system. So it's very hard to uh, operate it with one hand and you have to be very careful if you don't want to to hurt and to cut yourself. So yeah, you push down the, the axis and flies open. Uh, really, it flies open. Uh, it's a very, very, um, yeah, like I said, my daughter is scared of this knife. I've got hundreds of knives and uh, that is the, the only one that she's scared because uh, yeah, it's the, the biggest auto that, uh, that I have. And uh, I don't have a lot of auto actually, I have two or three, but uh, yeah, this one is really, really scary when it opens, you know. So, yeah, I, as I said, very difficult to disengage. You've got uh, here 
uh, you've got the security system, uh, which is a button that you push. It's a two action, um, two action security system. So you have to push down and up. Okay. If you push down and up here, you can't open the blade, so it's secured. And it's the opposite on the other way around. Uh, you push down and down. Okay. And then you can open it. <laughs> My daughter was still afraid with this one. Okay. So, uh, as I said, a very, very big knife. Uh, yeah, what do I have to make a size comparison here? I would have, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, I didn't, uh, as always, I didn't uh, uh, plan this video. So here is a knife that most of you know. It was the, the closest to me. So that's the 560. So look at that, the 560. It's just, just, it looks really, uh, really smaller uh, than the Bedlam. Really. Uh, let me see. It's very difficult to make. Uh, I saw that it's very difficult to make a size comparison because you've got something that we call in French the parallax effect. Uh, and if you're not really uh, straight on the edge, uh, you won't see the difference uh, in size. And something that might look very, very big bigger than the other uh, might be even uh, smaller okay but this is really believe me bigger than the 560 and i think that you get it here like way this, this way sorry okay uh, 0560 uh, black wash very nice knife okay moving on uh, so yeah uh, as i said nice mechanism to open uh, difficult to operate with uh, two hands uh, yeah, combat situation, yeah, most definitely the only purpose of this knife. Uh, and to tell you the truth, uh, I'm not really sure that the blade is the more dangerous part of this, uh, of this knife. Uh, actually, I would say that this is the scariest damn feature of this knife. It's a stainless steel backspacer finished here with a uh, a hell of a, what would you call that, a skull crusher, uh, yeah, that would be a skull crusher, yeah, really, uh, I, I wouldn't want this, really, it's very, 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 very strong, uh, yeah, I wouldn't like that to fall on my, uh, on my head, so, uh, actually, it's kind of good, because you can use it as a skull crusher, again, if you want to use it for those kind of purpose, uh, but for the reverse grip also, it gives you a nice jimping here and a very, very nice uh, way to, 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 to secure the grip. And also here, with the, the, the third finger, the medius finger, uh, works on the tip here, on the clip, on the clip uh, and it secures the grip very nicely. Okay, so here we are for this review of the Benchmade Bedlam. I have to say thank you to my assistant here. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye YouTube. Bye YouTube. Would that be a thumbs up video? My, my? Thumbs up video. Thumbs up video? You got it. From my daddy. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys for another, uh, another video. Bye bye. Subscribe, please. <laughs>